What you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft starts testing for Windows 11 25H2. With a plethora of errors on 24H2, Microsoft have seemed to given up the ghost on 24H2 and started to put all their attention onto 25H2. So with the release of Windows 11 Insider preview build 26200.5510, that is KB5054148 to the dev channel, Microsoft is giving early adopters the chance to jump to the 26200 series builds. These builds are the builds that will eventually evolve to Windows 11 25H2. Microsoft are looking to make some major improvements to Windows 11, although I personally think they should concentrate on fixing Windows 11 24H2 first before they start even contemplating uh, you know, building another build. Because let's face it, a lot of people really don't want 24H2 and people like myself can't even upgrade to 24H2 because of the blue screen of death that I keep getting every time I go to play a game or every time I go to load up. So you're going to see pointless stuff, which I think is pointless anyway. All this emoji stuff on the bottom right hand side here, just more fluff and bloat that people don't want. There's going to be a load of different apps already installed on here as well. And again, you're going to have categories here, which I've showed you in previous videos, which is going to allow you to put categories into little boxes here of programs, which is obviously a little bit of an update compared to a plain Jane type of menu that you have right here. So Microsoft have announced all of this on their blog post, and you can read up about that. I'll leave a link for that in the video description here. Basically, it just goes through and explains exactly what they're going to be working on, like improving search, file explorer, taskbar, and also a recall and a bunch of other stuff that they're working on in these builds. How about Microsoft give us just a working operating system that actually functions and works properly without having blue screen of death or other issues that we're having constantly with Windows 11 24H2. So a lot of people don't want a lot of this stuff anyway, so I don't understand why they keep pursuing it because a lot of people just don't particularly want it. I know I don't want recall on the system and I guarantee you they are probably looking at a way of trying to implement that into a normal working standard PC rather than having a Copilot Plus PC. At the moment, it is just Copilot Plus PCs that are actually working with that functionality. But you can guarantee that Microsoft are working on a way to implement that uh, recall feature into normal standard PCs rather than having it on a Snapdragon or Copilot Plus PC at the moment. I guarantee you they're working on it somewhere down the line because they want everyone to use that feature when no one really wants it. So again, there's some other things they're going to be working on in these builds as well. There's nothing new because you've seen it on a lot of YouTube channels that are promoting early access. What they do is they use the Vive tool and they show you these features in full working order. I've done it on my channel as well and I've sort of moved away from that a little bit because I just think it's pointless really because at the end of the day, uh, really what you're seeing is an early uh, creation which might not even hit the main uh, builds of Windows. They may even scrap it because they do do that sort of uh, thing, Microsoft. So again, this is a pretty plain uh, start menu. They are working on categories. It's nothing really for spectacular in my personal opinion. I would just swap this out with Start 11 because this is absolute garbage. It really is. And I don't know anyone who would want to use something like this. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you use the actual start menu and whether you actually like it, because I think it's a monstrosity. But other than that, I do believe that once this new build comes out, it's probably going to be much of the same. So Windows 11 version 24H2 still has quite a few known issues. And I get a few people in the comment section saying I make this stuff up. There's nothing wrong with 24H2. And yet you go to Microsoft's own website and it talks about how they're holding this off for some people because they know it's going to cause an issue. And I'm one of those people for some reason because I play games and I do other things on my computer. So they're not pushing out this update to me because it was causing blue screens. So you can see there's been some confirmed cases and there's also been a lot of resolved cases here as well for a lot of the issues 
that were happening to uh, Windows 11 24 H2. Now, if you're rocking Windows 11 24 H2 and having no problems whatsoever, good for you. That's all I have to say. It's no good telling me in the comments section, I've been on this since the beginning and I've had no issues whatsoever. A lot of people are probably in that boat as well, but there's also a lot of people that are having issues with Windows 11 24 H2 and I'm one of them. So go figure. I have better things to do with my day than make stuff up just to make Microsoft look bad. I do actually have a life outside of YouTube. But let's take a look here. We do actually see that there is an issue still with Easy Anti-Cheat. And maybe it's because I was playing a couple of games that you were using Easy Anti-Cheat and it was causing blue screens. And of course, Microsoft decided to hold off and stop the update from happening to those systems that were using Easy Anti-Cheat on their computer. And just to prove it to you, to show you, it says right here, to safeguard your update experience, we have applied a compatibility hold on devices running incompatible Easy Anti-Cheat uh, drivers. It goes on to say these devices will not be offered to install Windows 11 version 24H2 via the Windows update. It says right there. So for all those people that say I make this stuff up, that's Microsoft's own website where they're putting it right there in black and white. So if you're one of these people that are getting all excited about 25H2 and hoping to bypass 24H2 and go straight to 25H2, then you're probably going to have to wait until December sometime before 25H2 is even started to be rolled out to the general public. In my personal experience, uh, 25H2 is not going to be much different to 24H2. It's just going to have a few more features that we've shown in previous videos like start menu changes and also putting things into categories and a few other features that you're probably not even going to need. So if you're one of those hoping that it was going to be a complete new build and maybe it was going to be a brand new release of Windows altogether because there was those leaks going about or YouTubers creating videos about 25H2 is Windows 12 and all this sort of nonsense. I don't think it is. I think it's just going to be Windows 11, 25H2. And if they are going to call that Windows 12, then guess what? It's just going to be Windows 11 with a coat on, basically, because it's not going to be any different. You're still going to have all the same usual stuff that you have on Windows 11, 24H2. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. Just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has put uh, well wishes in the comments section. I really do appreciate that. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.